vegans, vegans, humans, cat people. Uh, so I keep mulling over this analogy in my head, and I I know that this is ethically important, and vegans intuitively understand it, but I, I don't really feel like it's so easily communicated because of uh, the resistance of uh, misappropriation of logic on the behalf of meat eaters to defend their habits. Uh, so I'm always trying to refine how to communicate with a meat eater to understand the implications and I, I, I want to really boil and concentrate sort of just burn away all the dross of, of this ethical truth so that it's concentrated and pure and easy to understand and easy to communicate uh, so I just keep sort of uh, simmering these ideas in my mind okay let's get started there is uh, for example um, I hate saying for example. I just will say, okay, there's there's cat people, space goblins, and they, and, uh, and they exist, okay? And there's a particular nutrient called vitamin H, okay? And this nutrient appears to only naturally occur in humans. And actually these goblins they need vitamin H to live and they've come here from another planet that had factory farming of humans uh, and and they would they just ate the humans that they had there they've come here okay and they see uh, this planet is abundant in vitamin H <laughs> and these are a technologically, biologically superior species in, in orders of magnitude in the same degree that we are to sheep and cows and chickens. Uh, not better than just biologically superior on a mechanical and, uh, I guess, digital level, you know, in computing computational power and, and such. So, when when we see these goblins, we are entranced, actually. Where they, they come down and we are just sort of rendered nearly brain dead. Um, and then they can eat us freely. Um, be, in the same, sort of in the same way that if you've ever done study biological uh, research on uh, cats and mice, you understand there's something in cat shit uh, called toxo, uh, toxoplasm, I think. But um, anyway, this, this, this thing in cat shit, it crawls out from the cat poop and gets into the mice. And the mice, they find that after ingesting this or or this this bacteria crawls into their organism the cat is rendered invisible to them like they don't understand that this mega predator is literally about to kill them <laughs> just they're completely helpless right so um i just ate a lot of watermelon my belly feels upset i ate too much watermelon Okay, um, I should have ate a little bit less. Okay, so now they have sort of uh, now let's uh, let's imagine that these these goblins have, have kind of uh, they're in their spaceships and normally they're factory farming, but there are some goblins who have said, "Listen, 
we need vitamin H. Yeah, but there's, there's some other alternative. We don't have to do this to this planet. We always do this. It's cruel. You know, and they're, they're just, there's many of them who are just ripping families apart. Um, they're just keep eating people at random. And, and we can't stop them. We can't stop them. Like, we, we launch a nuke, and it, it just fizzles immediately. We fire bullets, and they, they just vaporize as they are coming out of the gun. The guns vaporize when they're, they're pointed at uh, these, these goblins. But for all intents and purposes, these goblins, they are magic. We have no idea how they work, how to stop them. We can't stop them. Excuse me. And they need vitamin H. Now, some of the goblins are... Uh, they're basically going... They're trying to go vegan. You know, they're like, yeah, we need vitamin H, but we don't have to do this. So now they're, they're talking about, like, how can we synthesize, you know... Um, humans, so, or human uh, vitamin H or whatever, so that we don't have to, you know, they're talking about, like, lab-grown meat, and a lot of them are just saying, no, I, I don't want to do that, that's, uh, I, uh, let's just kill the humans, it, it, it doesn't matter, you know, and so when you, when you sort of put this analogy into your consciousness, and you, you put it in that context, you know, of, of a higher order being, imposing itself on your species and turning you into a, a, merely a food source to them with no regard or respect to anything that's going on, least of all your life, uh, then it's, it's easy to basically look up and say and, and think, you know, why aren't, for, for example, if these things are so technologically advanced, if they're so much better than us, and we can grow uh, lab-grown meat, why aren't they doing this? Why are they victimizing our entire species just because they want, because they're too lazy to do it the other way? Because they, it's, it's a habit for them. Because for uh, billions of years, this is how they've been doing it. This is how they get their vitamin H, going from planet to planet, eating everyone. Uh, so, I, I think after you examine this, you, you can look at sort of the goblins who are trying to go vegan and realize these ones are the ones we should be rooting for. <laughs> these, are, these are the ones that, yeah, it's in our interest. It's not only in our interest, it's... It's an objective, ethical truth that they are correct. And when you can see that, the meta-context, the metaphysics, actually, the metaphysics of that, you realize that applies to our species, too. It applies to every species, down to even a cat. Down to even a cat. At the at the time that lab-grown meat is so accessible that we can render it for everyone, we will feed our cats lab-grown meat. And it, it will be the ethical way to have a cat. Right now, it's, it's hard because it's not available to everyone. But, but basically, as people slowly go vegan, that's not a problem. If, if everyone who sees vegan stuff begins to turn vegan, supply and demand chains will change, and we'll see the result of a veganizing world. We will be metaphysically, meta-ethically correct. We will be doing things right. The right way. We will be changing the horrible parts of nature. And... This is, it's really easy to understand when you look at the goblins who need the vitamin H and, and realize that that's us. That's us. We are the fucking goblins. <laughs> it's 
So, yeah, um, hopefully I can um, boil that analogy a little more and make it more clear, but there it is.